My name is Ben, and I'm one of the docents here at the California Academy of Sciences. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite things, butterflies, and how they stay safe. Butterflies stay safe in a lot of different ways, but when there are only a few of them, they tend to want to hide. Now, think about what you do to hide when you're playing a game of hide and seek with your friends. Where do you go? You probably go somewhere where your clothes look like a really similar shade to what you're hiding in. Maybe if you're wearing green, you'll hide in a bush. Well, butterflies do the same kind of thing. Do you know what we call this? It's called camouflage. Now, I want you to take a look at this picture of the blue morpho butterfly and pause the video for a second so you can study it. What did you notice? Probably the first thing that stood out to you was the color. It has a lot of brown and white along with some black spots. Think to yourself, why would this be good for the blue morpho? Well, when it lands on a tree, that brown and white is gonna make it look like the tree itself. And if a bird sees that from a distance, it might say, oh, that's just part of the tree and not actually attack the blue morpho. Now, what about those black circles? What do they remind you of? We tend to think of them as looking like eyes because the bird might see that and think they're looking at another bird. And when that happens, they'll fly away again, protecting the butterfly. Now we're gonna look at another butterfly. This is called the owl butterfly. I want you to take a moment and I want you to study this one. Tell me what you notice. When you look at this one, you're gonna see the very, very large eye spot looks just like the eye of an owl. Now the color on this one is different. It's not trying to look like a tree, but specifically like the feathers of an owl. So it'll look just like the bird it's trying to imitate. This is just one of the many ways that butterflies stay safe. I wanna say thank you for spending this time with me today. And I'm hoping that one day we'll see you at the academy where you can come into the rainforest and see these butterflies flying around.